Hey, check out my conversation with Francisco from Roofers Going Digital. We talk about why and how small business owners need to use social media in 2021. So, Francisco, my friend, good to see you. How are you? I'm good. Yourself good? Doing okay. Doing okay. Thanks again for uh, giving us your time to answer some of our questions when it comes to uh, digital marketing for roofers from contractors. I know I come to you uh, whenever I have uh, any questions regarding LinkedIn or social media. So having said that, uh, when we talk about social media 2021, uh, should contractors, small business owners, roofers, uh, should they still focus on social media? That's a good question, man. And yeah, oh, no, first of all, thank you for inviting me, man. Thank you for inviting me to the program, man. I feel proud to be the first, um, the first um, person to be here, man. I appreciate and, it. Yeah, you're welcome. And the first question, okay. Um, no, man, it's never late. Never late. Like this is the, the social media, it's a new thing. And executives and every, like nobody has time, like, anymore to be learning about new craft. Like I have seen a lot of roofers that tell me like, hey, I'm on LinkedIn, I have my profile, but it's not working, man. Like I don't get any any traction. The problem is that uh, you need to learn a little bit. You, you need to start like investing time on it. Okay. Investing time, one hour, two hours. The most time you invest in the platforms and learning the tools because the tools are really important here. Mm -hmm. There are different tools that are going to take you to, to a different level, man. Okay. Like just to, just like being there is going to be a little bit hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So if you're talking yeah. about tools and investing some time, you know, if you're a small contractor, roofer, which platform should they invest time into if, if they only have you know a half an hour an hour to kind of learn and, and put some uh, 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 information up which platform should they focus on if, if they, uh, so the platform is is our favorite one obviously it's going to be linkedin all day why why linkedin there is a lot of different reasons the first one the algorithm the algorithm is open okay. what does that mean that means that if you post something, uh, they want more people on it, so they are going to show it even more now. So if you're mm -hmm. a small business owner, roofing contractor, choose one, uh, learn LinkedIn, and uh, start putting some content. So when we talk about content and, uh, and such, would you be able to share some tips, like three or four tips with a contractor, yes. uh, focus yeah. for a contractor or a roofer, if they if they want to put an hour of their own time in, uh, yes, yeah. invest an hour of their time into LinkedIn, what are a couple of things that they should uh, they should focus on? Mm -hmm. So the first of all is like, save one hour of your day. I'm not asking for more, just one hour, like before you go to work and invest in you, like invest in your, in your knowledge, man, in new technologies, in new trends, because that's the most difficult thing right now is like keeping all the trends. Like technology is going so fast that that's gonna be one of the challenge. So one is like focus on training and, cert and, and the certification. People are gonna say like, oh, hey, but like, I don't have money right now, I'm new. Like certifications and training are, are free, man. Like all the tools and platforms are giving you for free. Why? Because they want you to get there, like want you to participate, to engage. So everyone is, first one is like train, train uh, and certificate you. The second one is know your target audience. Who are you talking to? What do they like to see? What problems they have? For us creating content, what uh, someone should focus on, like pictures, videos, writing, what's your suggestion when it comes to that? One example, if you don't like, if you are really good talking in the camera, taking your cell phone and, and making a video in the roof, do that. If you tell me like, hey, I'm really good at writing, man. I can, I, like I used to write, like I'm, I used to be a content writer. I, I like to write blogs, <laughs> do blogging. If you tell me, hey, I like I'm really good uh, work with graphic designer, or my wife is a graphic designer and she can help me with everything, hey, do that. Hey, I'm really like I know I have a really uh, I'm really knowledgeable with technical stuff. Hey, then um, do some infographics. 
So, but the thing is, do something and do what you like, so it's easier for you. Like, because what happened with the industry or with the with the digital with the digital marketing and social media that they, like there is people that put the bar really high, man. And people people think that you need to be like them to start being on media, and that's not true. You need to start with what you have, with what you know, and right now. Like no more, like don't like don't compare to the other people and don't copy. Like even if they have like a really good content, like be original, target in one audience. Because one of the challenge challenges right now is like try to go like, oh yeah, I do marketing for who? I, oh, I do it for everybody. No man, it doesn't work like that. In like in 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 regions and areas that are so big, like United States, Canada, like you need to you need to find a niche, only one niche. And, and find what do they like to do. They like to see. Okay, so you really got to hone in on your audience and target your audience. Target your Don't audience, go yes. wide, but Don't go narrow, wide. right? Okay. Go narrow, okay. yeah. Wider, it's not going to work. Okay, and how uh, how often uh, should someone post? Like how often? Once in a while? Once a week? Like what the, is there? Is there a consistent to this? What, what should be the uh, the target? Actually, that one, um, consistency is one of the key. Okay. If, if it's Monday, Tuesday, weekend, day off, day with the family, you need to put every day, the more the possible. Obviously, the recommendation is to start with one daily and then keep up improving, man. Because that one is going to be the key. Like, you you will see that you once you start creating content, you lose the fear of posting. You lose the fear of what people say about you because you are posting on the media. Once you start doing that, focus on being more creative. And, like, surprise your target audience. Okay. Make sure that they are not, they, they are not waiting on what you are going to post because if they are, like, it's like a – like a TV show, the people is like waiting for you, and like people is getting on social media just to just waiting to see what you are gonna post. Mm -hmm. So it's the same here. Like they are waiting to be so like a, if you have a surprise, oof, it's even better. That's good. That's good. Even better. So daily, daily consistency. Okay. That's the key. Choose one strategy. Choose one target. Choose one platform. Choose one type of content and start starting from that. Yes. Okay. So if people want to follow you, uh, uh, they want to reach out to you, they have questions, what's the best way to find you? And I know you also said that you have a promo going with uh, mm -hmm. free consultation. Uh, if you want to talk about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so like people can find me in on all social media platforms, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and uh, Instagram, all of them. Uh, then, like my phone is nine fifteen two 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 zero one nineteen. My email, I can like send it. Like I will, I will post it. Like if you send me a message, I can send it to. Okay. Like to people. Well, uh, I appreciate your time. I think uh, we covered some good information here, uh, helpful information for people to uh, to jump on LinkedIn and start implementing so, for uh, some stuff. So uh, I thank you for your time. I will put Thank your you uh, contact information uh, in the show notes so people can uh, follow you, contact you, and uh, ask you questions uh, about your services. So thanks again for your yeah. time. No, no, and congratulations. Congratulations for uh, for your new podcast program, man. This is going to be great. Great start. This is a great example of what people need to do, like on social media, like uh, start interacting, start posting new ideas, being creative. All okay. right. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. It. Thank you. Thank you, Gabe. Bye-bye.